Our company, Elevator Innovation, are hearing the public outcry and we're here to adhere to their needs through innovation. The shared difficulties amongst the public commuting through the public train network with the bike need to be radically improved. Currently, commuters face several problems from inadequate access to crammed carriages limiting their commute and then unsafe storage. We propose the implementation of our bike on system in each of our active train lines as it will have an advantageous effect on these primitive techniques and make commuting on a bike through our public transport network more effective. Discussions and minor research allowed the team to decide that public transport was seen as the best option to improve and with the inability to completely dictate what method of transport people take, trains were envisaged as a great small area to focus on in the grand scheme of things. It was to be found that something as small as bicycles on trains having a major effect on how crowded and congested trains can get. Furthermore, how they can annoy other commuters. A solution to reduce the congestion and traffic bicycles cause on trains, platforms and stations was a perfect small sector of a large scale challenge to fix and design an innovative solution. The challenge statement the team came down to is the following. How can we improve the transport of bicycles within the public transport system? Bike on is a space efficient way of storing bikes by hanging them from the wall of a train carriage. One bike on setup is a hook attached to the roof of the train carriage as well as a wheel holder attached to the wall of the train. The front wheel of the bike is placed over the hook allowing the bike to hang downwards while attached to the roof. The back wheel then fits into a specially designed wheel holder attached to the wall of the carriage. This holds the back wheel in place and keeps the whole bike out of the way of the main thoroughfare. Bike on is a height adjustable setup for varying sizes of bikes and accessibility for shorter passengers. The whole setup can be rotated up to 45 degrees for better efficiency and accessibility of bikes. This setup can be repeated as many times as is needed throughout the train. The overall goal of our product Bicon was to develop an innovative solution to decongest peak hour traffic in Melbourne. In doing so, we established several secondary goals, the first of which was to offer a more appealing transport solution for cycling commuters by encouraging them to utilise train transport to a commutable distance to the city. Secondly, to increase passenger comfort on trains while accommodating the additional demand of bicycle commuters. And finally, making trains more space efficient in the transport of bicycles. Increased use of public transport and cycling will result in a benefit of additional exercise and community engagements, as well as the environmental benefits of decreased traffic congestion and reduced carbon emissions. Bikecon is our product. To promote our product, we design a simple logo and the name to identify our customers. In this product, we are mainly targeting people those who are traveling by bike their regular day-to-day -day work. The idea behind this product is little bit complicated. Therefore, we design a website to help our customers to identify about our product and also we can get more attention from the people. As we can see, yeah, it is really useful product so our plan to release our product as soon as possible to our customers. To take our project to the next phase we would need approval by the panel. Obtaining approval for our idea would bring us to the next phase of the project where more designs could be produced with much greater detail. This step would be accompanied by more in-depth research so that the details of the design such as dimensions, materials, function and cost could be determined. Once the designs are fully complete, the project may be put out to tender for a third party to manufacture the designs. At this stage, testing can be conducted to ensure the design functions as intended. A trial can then take place where a single carriage will be modified with our design. The results of a trial can be used to indicate how well the design is received by Metro users. Depending on the outcome of the trial, the design can be modified or implemented into other trains and across other lines around the Metro region. Any further expansion of Bicon could develop depending on its success in the initial release. Potentially Bicon could expand to other cities or to regional train services around Australia.